I thought I'd do a video today listing the top five tips that every actor should know to nail their commercial casting. My name is Vincent and I'm a writer and coach for Stage Milk, one of the world's leading actors resource websites. And I'm also an actor, just like you. There is one truth about we actors in this industry. I'd say about 80 to 90% of the auditions that we end up going for are for commercial castings. Tip number one, read the brief. You must read the brief. You must read the brief. The brief gets sent to you and you must read it through. Uh, 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 There's a whole tier of people that the role has to go through before it even gets to you, the actor. You've got the client. In this case, that's what a relief burger. Vegan patties, just like the real thing. Okay, we've got a new burger. We need to go and advertise this. So we need a, you guessed it, advertising agency. We've got client, we've got the agency, then we've got production. And then the production company sources out the casting team. Casting then goes out to talent agencies and we are represented by talent agencies, or you could be freelance. But this is the point where we become involved. There are many different online platforms. The way it usually happens is that you will receive an email alert. This could be either from your agent or if you're freelance, it's probably from your own application. The email is the brief, the commercial brief. This is called the audition ticket. It's an invitation to the audition and it gives you all the details you will need so that you can do your best work when you go out there, okay? That's why it's so important to read it, guys. Hello? So, audition ticket for Actor McGee. You've got the role name. Now, the role name, don't get hung up on it. It's usually just an archetypal thing, okay? It's dad, it's mum, it's student, it's barista, it's tradie, it's hairdresser, it's all sorts of things. Don't sort of sit there and go, well, I'm an actor, so if my character doesn't have a name, a backstory, and a serious psychological trauma that they've had to overcome since childhood, I don't know that I can play it. <laughs> You're probably not gonna get that on a commercial casting. Here, we've got Hero Burger Eater. You get the audition time and you get the address. Then you've got instructions for the talent. That's you, you're the talent. And it will give you a little bit of information about the project itself. They'll give you the age range, they'll give you the role type, so in this case, it's a principal role, and they'll give you a role rate summary. Little pro tip, don't worry about the money. Sometimes those big numbers can be very dazzling. Oh my, I've gotta get this job because then it's gonna solve my money woes. That's a really, really bad way to start the, the, the audition. So don't go in there thinking about the money. Then we've got the role description. It's a feel that they want for the character. It is very important to understand what they're going for with the mood, the tone of the piece, because you ultimately are going to have to bring that into the room. Hero Burger Eater, a warm, down-to-earth, friendly pal next door with a good sense of humor. No over-the-top performances, we're looking for natural here. Sometimes they will want you to be a little bit bombastic and a little bit crazy because ads sometimes can be crazy. But sometimes they really just want a genuine, authentic, real life performance, because it depends what they're selling. Now that we've read through all the details on the ticket itself, let's go into the links they've provided. They will have things like the script and the concept document. The concept document is quite frequently what the production company who are going to be filming the commercial actually submitted to the agency. It's similar in the way that our auditions are submitted. We open on a rustic table. A burger is placed in front of us, bursting at the seams with avocado, herbs, and juicy meat looking patty. I'm not gonna say a joke about juicy meat looking patty here. I won't say it. It won't be said. Our hero looks down at the burger, uncertain, pull out to reveal the hero is surrounded by some friends, all enjoying their burgers without hesitation. Encouraged by the smiles and enjoyment on the friends' faces, our hero picks up the burger gingerly and takes a bite. A moment of deliberation and then Pleasant surprise, hero. It tastes just like the real thing. Sometimes they even will give you some character inside. They'll give you references to stylistic tones in images and descriptions that they are trying to accomplish in the commercial. In this case, the concept document has acted also as the script. So now that we can imagine what the commercial is going to be and what our role as hero burger eater is going to require, we will then equip ourselves with the knowledge of what we're probably gonna be able to do when we go into the audition room. Which brings us to tip number two. Dress the part. Sometimes they will even, in the audition ticket, 
give you a suggested wardrobe. Don't you worry, it doesn't mean you've got to have a whole wardrobe of costumes ready to go. A lot of actors think, but I don't have a ball gown, how could I possibly play Cinderella? I mean, <laughs> if I've asked that question once, I've asked it a thousand times, I tell you. You probably already have a lot of stuff in your wardrobe that will be perfect for what you need to wear to a casting. In this one, Hero Burger Eater is to be dressed casual, summery, relaxed. Oh, uh, what? Hang on a second. Are we going to have a fashion montage? Kids, nah, listen to your mother. <laughs> yeah, did I show you the dimmer switch I installed? Mm, no, yeah, just, yeah. No, I mean, it's, look, it's, <laughs> look, it's, 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 I don't know. it's I mean, believable. It's good. Huh? Oh, oh no, mate. Sorry, I can't help you. I'm on break. Yeah. Can I get a uh, yeah, chicken schnitzel on a roll? You got, does that come with a combo? Oh, oh I see. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah no, I mean, I, I like serving. I'm sure I don't know if it's really it's serving this thing, but it's good. This it's is good bad. too. I'm really good. liking this. This is good. I'm hungry. It's warm out. I want a burger, but I don't think I want to eat meat right now. That's oh, it. Oh, that's, that's the one. The, oh, oh, oh that's, lovely. Lo well, that's the one. That's the one. I think that's the one. So. We've read the brief, we've dressed the part, we're about to go into the audition room. In fact, we're in the audition room. Tip number three. This might be one of the most important tips you're ever going to hear. It's so important that I thought, why not just go to the source and get it from them? So I sat down with one Mr. Daniel Barini, a Whopper graduate, a fellow actor, and a man who has worked as a professional in casting for over five years. You're gonna wanna hear what he has to say. And so now, Daniel, you work for iCall Casting. Yeah. And they mostly do commercial auditions? Yeah, they do drama as well. But right. yeah, at the moment, um, certainly they, they focus on TVCs, which is television commercials. In regards to TVC casting, yeah. And I don't like doing it, but often there's a degree of micro direction that is necessary. Yeah. I mean, there is just beats you have to hit. We're plugging the product. There's yep. just things you have to hit. I think that people just need to come in with an enthusiastic outlook and just be willing to listen to what the direction is. Because often or not, it may just be totally different to what you anticipate. It may be right, or maybe wrong. We may just want to try something for the, for the sake of it. Mm. The amount of times that I've done, that I've held a session, and people have prepared something, and it's clear they're prepared in a certain way. You ask them to do, you know, multiple times and I'm going through it and it is identical. It's right. identical. And, you know, and it's just, it's, it's a bit disheartening. I mean, it's just, I mean, those people unfortunately just don't, don't get called back. Be prepared to throw away absolutely everything that you've prepared. It tends to be very specific direction because it's, it's like we actually need something somewhat specific. We want you to bring your, your energy and your, your, you know, yourself to it. But generally there's something that we actually need to hear. So to be listening for that moment, I mean, if you're not, if you're, like I said, when people have pre-prepared something, or they're in their head, and they're not listening, I mean, you just go for a flat, and you just gonna do something that's totally boring. So there you have it. Tip number three, listen. Sorry, what? I, I said, you have to listen. What? Ha you got to li listen. I feel like you're doing this on purpose. One more, one more time. It's You got my, my bad ear. You know what? I'm not going to. You guys are listening and you will have to do that when you get in the audition room. This brings us to tip number four. Have fun and don't overthink it. Or see you. Or see you, kids. You have fun. You don't overthink it. Stop it. Ah, ah, ah. What do I just say? Wait, oh, what's that? Sorry, what's that, Daniel? A lot of people speak for myself, and I had to do this, just get my ego out of the way a little bit. Yeah. Kind of look at the reality of what they are. The sessions that I run, I mean, it's like max 10 minutes of your day to jump around, maybe a little bit silly. And it's, it's one of the few areas of our work where you have the ability and the allowance to be a little bit larger than life, yeah. but not insincere. There's a big difference, and that doesn't mean just be big and brash and, and brazen. You know, you still you still have to be sincere and, and be kind of truth truthful about what you're doing always. But you can have a little bit of elevated fun yeah. with, with with certain ads in particular. I mean, not all. Don't need to generalize, but you know, they're fun. A lot of people get it, get in their head and they can't do that. <laughs> take note, people. Take note. It's about the fun. It's about yeah, being it's silly. Ten it's minutes about... of play. It's, it's so okay. exactly. We're players. Let's play. It's about not taking. If you take yourself too seriously with a commercial, well, you're not going to book it.
Now we come to tip number five. This is the most important tip you will ever, ever, ever need to know. This doesn't just go for commercial castings, it goes for every audition that you go on. Forget about it the second you leave the room. Now, of course we care, of course we worry. Did I do this? Did I do that? But the thing is, you've done your part. Whatever you did, be happy that it's done and be happy that you did it and walk out and move on. And then be happily surprised when they, do, 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 do. hey, we'd like to see him for a callback, a second audition, bring him over this time next Tuesday. <laughs> we have to find that balance between loving the work and putting so much of ourselves in it, but also taking care of ourselves because one cannot exist without the other. The healthier your mind and body is as an instrument, the better your work will be. So we protect ourselves. Trust me, I live by this rule. Do your best to walk out of that door and forget that the casting ever happened. So those are the five most important tips you can take into any commercial castings to nail that audition. Number one, read through the brief. Number two, dress the part. Number three, listen. I said listen. Number four, have fun and don't overthink it. And number five, forget about it the second you walk out of the room. Thank you all so, so much. Please like and subscribe below for more fun and informative videos. And make sure you go and check out the Stage Milk website and all of our social media platforms. Just know everyone, you're not alone. And I look forward to seeing you again next time.